just arrived to the beginning of the climb. And we really want to stress to you that this is not a trek or a hike, it's a mountaineering expedition. We have a guide, Alessandro, and we hired a porter who's carrying most of our heavy gear up. And we've also been preparing for this for the past like two weeks because the altitude is high. <laughs> it's no joke. So you want to be prepared, you want to be ready because our ultimate goal is to summit Vayanarahu. Nothing else. So we have about a three hour trek to base camp. Today we are taking things pretty slowly because Alessandro was telling us that it's very important that we don't use all of our energy on the first day since the big challenge will be tomorrow morning on the glacier. Three hours later and we have made it to our campsite for the night. By the way, we are at 16,495 meters. I know I was very exact, I just checked my phone. <laughs> Feeling good. You feel the altitude at all? I mean, yeah, it's harder to breathe for sure. Yeah, you have to like keep taking very deep breaths to acclimate a little bit better, but I'm excited to relax. And I'm very proud of us. This is also the highest that we have ever slept, so hopefully it's a good night. Here we have Alex setting up our tent so kindly. Let's see inside. It's gonna be a little bit snug tonight, but... We're gonna be snuggling. I guess it's just one We're night. We're gonna be snuggling. <laughs> If you're wondering how our tent is magically set up when we arrive, our porter, Martin, kindly set it up for us. So, thank you, Martin. He went up and down by the time we got up here with a bag that's 25 kilos. So, he's a badass. Our guide, Alessandro, is Italian, which means we are going to have a delicious pasta dinner tonight. Right now, he is prepping the ingredients with fresh tomatoes, an onion. Sadly, there's no garlic, but you know, we'll make do with what we have. Oh, and we have basil as well. It's really like a five-star meal that we're gonna have. It's a true Italian dinner up here on the mountain, <laughs> cooked by a real Italian, so. Yeah. What more could you ask for, huh? <laughs> right? <laughs> well, I hope you're a good cook. We hope too. <laughs> <laughs> Chilling in the tent before dinner. I'm excited to eat. I'm also really hungry right now but I think dinner will be ready in like an hour, 30 minutes. The pasta sauce is cooking. Mm, mm. Yummy, fresh pasta sauce, yummy. <laughs> yummy, fresh pasta sauce. Yummy. I'm so hungry. Yeah, there's lentils, there's tomatoes, onions. Olives. Olives, mushrooms, cheese. For the cool people, not the vegans. <laughs> and, oh. uh, and we added lentils because they usually cook with meat out here. But Drew and I are vegetarian. Drew's a vegan. I'm a vegetarian. So we thought we needed some added protein. It's going to be a tasty meal. Bingo. We shouldn't high five. We should high five Alessandro. Yeah. <laughs> We're not doing anything. <laughs> it is time to eat dinner. And I am so excited. It looks delicious. Grazie mille, Alessandro. Buon appetito. I already <laughs> ate it. And it is delicious, so thank you so much. Wow, what an incredible sunset, but it is getting very chilly. So we are going to go inside the tent and stay warm until we have to wake up at one in the morning. It's gonna be a rough night, but we're so excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Why you not a who? Why you not a who? <laughs> night night. <laughs> night night. It is about 1.15 in the morning and we are exhausted. It is freezing and extremely windy outside. So we are putting on more layers. Then we're gonna go and have some breakfast. I don't know which kind of tea you prefer. Any that have caffeine? Or no. Yeah. No, no, no coffee. Canela, no coffee? clavo. 
Oh, can I eat gravel? Yeah, caffeine. It does have a little bit? Yeah, so it's deep here though. Okay, I'll that one too. We got some oats. We got oats with chocolate. Tasty. Delicious. <laughs> it is 2.18 and we are beginning our climb to the glacier. We have about an hour hike. We just reached the glacier. Now it is time to put on our crampons and layer up. We're trying to move as fast as possible because the longer you stand here, the colder you get. So we're uh, we're roping up, putting on the crampons, and I'm trying to keep moving as quick as, as quick as possible. We have about four or five hours until we reach the summit. We have to cross a few crevasses, so we're spreading out the rope for some extra safety in case one falls, but I think we'll be fine. But we're literally on the side of a glacier cliff, just going up and up and up. We are about halfway to the summit, and the sun's gonna rise soon. Taking a little break to eat some food and wait for the sun to warm us up. Six or seven for tiredness? Yeah. It's not that bad. Ten is dead. Oh, okay. Is, you just woke up from the best sleep of your life. Okay, I thought it was the opposite. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'd say six. Six. I'm pretty beat. That altitude. This was, yeah, this was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. I told you it was going to be fucking hard. Where we are right now is about an hour from the summit, but since it is getting later in the day now, it becomes extremely dangerous to be at the summit around that time, so... You just have to be smart and turn around. But it's all good. Proud of you. 